let's let's just review the steps here um, so that you guys don't get so confused. The first thing we're going to do, like we did yesterday, is draw our chart. So I'm going to go to the next page. It's going to make it easier. And when I say draw a chart, it's not actually a chart. It's more like a T, right? Okay, so something like that. Now, let's read what the next step says. You're going to write the given units on top. What did they give us? One billion square feet. So I'm going to write one billion square feet. Those are the units that they gave us. Next thing we're going to do, now here's where I messed up yesterday, I apologize. Go ahead and put um, another line on the right. We'll talk about in a second why you want to do that, but that's because sometimes in order to solve the problem, you have to fill in the middle. So you want to leave as much room as possible. Let's look at the next step. Write the desired units. On top. I should say top. So what, what units are, um, are we trying to find? Square, square miles, right? Mm -hmm. Converting it to square miles. So we're going to put that on top of the chart because that's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to put it all the way to the end of the chart because it might, not, it might be more than just the first step, right? So I'm going to put square miles at the very end. Looks like I need to, might leave a little bit more room there, so I'll move the line over just a little bit. Okay, so why did I do that? Because in our chart that we learned yesterday, we don't have a way of going straight from square feet to square miles. Why? Because, like he said, there's so many square feet into square miles. The closest thing we have to a square mile, I believe, is an acre. And so we need to, we have some baby steps to take. But when you go to the chart, just start with square feet, look at the chart, and see what the next biggest thing from that is. Can, you, can anybody tell me, looking at the chart we made yesterday? If you look at the chart, the next thing up from square feet is um, square yards. And it says right there that there's nine square feet in a square yard. So let's go back to the example. For right now, I put one square yard, nine square feet, okay? So I'm putting the units that I want to get rid of on the bottom, I'm putting my new unit here. That's not the unit we want at the end, right? But it's one step closer to a square mile, okay? So what I can do now is cancel my square feet and then we're going to go back to the chart and look at the next thing over from square yards. That would be an acre. There you go. It's an acre. So one acre is 40, 40 yards squared. Right. One acre is 4,840 yards squared. Somebody needs to read that figure back to me because I'm going to forget it. 4840 yards squared. 4840. So we're going to put 4840 down here square yards and one acre up here just put AC now it makes sense that we're, we keep we're putting these numbers on the bottom because as we said before there's a lot of square feet in a in a square mile so obviously we're gonna keep dividing and keep dividing okay so the reality is we're still not where we want to be we've can't we can cancel the square yards we need to now go from acres to square, square miles. Unfortunately, on our chart, we should have that as well. Acres and one mile so there's 640 acres and one square mile going back. That will finish, basically finish up the problem. So I actually left a little bit too much space, but that's okay. More is better than less. And that's in one square mile. 
Okay, so what I can do is I can cancel my acres, and what do we have now? We have the answer we need. We want to be in square miles. It took us two steps to get there. It's fine though, okay? So as long as you guys do this on the worksheet that we're going to do today, you'll be fine, okay? Write what you start with here. Write the units you want to end up with over here. It's only going to take two at the most three steps to get from one to the other. In fact, I don't think anything we're doing is more than two steps. And that way, it breaks it down more. The reason we have to do that is because the chart I gave you doesn't have every single conversion on it. It just has from one to the next. So ultimately what we're going to be doing, I'll do this on the calculator. We're going to take one billion, we're going to be dividing by nine times 4,840 times 640. And that should give us how many uh, square miles we have. So let me pull that up. So it's going to be approximately 36 square miles in a, in a billion acres. And so what does that mean? That means a, a square mile is really big. And or, you're fitting a billion acres in 36 square miles. So a square mile is huge. It's a mile times a mile times a mile. That's pretty big area.